Hi everyone, this is Sujit and today I will be showing how to install Media Center on a Raspberry Pi. Now uh, using Raspberry Pi as a Media Center has a lot of advantages. Uh, one is that the updates are released very frequently. Uh, the file formats which are sub uh, supported by the Media Centers, it covers a lot of file formats and uh, you can play anything right from 3D to any other file format everything is supported by most of the newer media centers available for raspberry pi and raspberry pi itself co consumes very uh, low power so you can that is another advantage you can connect a hard drive to uh, the raspberry pi and watch all your movies tv shows etc now any uh, media center is incomplete without a remote so I'll be showing that as well how to configure an IR remote to be used uh, with a Raspberry Pi. Now I have with me a universal remote control that I'll be using. Now uh, if you have the Raspberry Pi you will need an IR receiver. As you can see I have already attached IR receiver on my Raspberry Pi. Now the one thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, the Raspberry Pi outputs 3.3 volts on the its GPIO pins so uh, you need a IR receiver such as the TSOP38238 uh, because it works on 3.3 volts it has a range of 3 to 5 volts so it will work fine on 3.3 volts so that is one factor you need to keep in mind once you have that ready and attached to the Raspberry Pi um, we can go ahead and see how to configure it and as you can see, I am currently installing uh, OSMC. Once the installation is complete, we will proceed. So once the installation is complete, we will be seeing the screen. So before we can configure our uh, remote, we need to go in to my OSMC settings and uh, enable LIRC. So we will go to my OSMC and go to PI config then we need to go to hardware support and we will need to enable LIRC GPIO support so once we have enabled this we need to select OK and we need to go back and reboot so now that we have successfully installed OSMC on our Raspberry Pi we need to start configuring the remote so that we can use it with the raspberry pi so at this point we have two options either we can pick up a config file from the database and uh, the config file for our remote and just put it in the raspberry pi and use it the other option is is to record all the keys manually now it is not a big task it may take 10 15 minutes but it's a one time task we never need to do it again so if you have a config file for your remote go ahead and use it if you don't we can always record the keys manually so i have uh, this is an application called putty and i have used it to log in to osmc uh, the default username is osmc password is also osmc now once i have logged in uh, the default directory is home osmc so what we need to do is we need to stop the LIRC service first so I'll hit enter and now we can start recording so this is the command and it will create a directory if you take a close look it would it would create a, a file called lircd.conf in the home osmc directory and this configuration file contains a mapping from a key on the remote to a to a code which the raspberry pi will understand so suppose i put hit the power button it would save it as a key power and then the uh, the ir config so let's start with the recording process so here we get a detailed information as what is going to happen and uh, it would we can hit enter it says now press start pressing buttons on your remote control 
and it is very important that you press many different buttons and hold them down for approximately one second so let's start with the recording process I have the remote here and I'll start hitting the keys one by one and you can see here it is recording it I press each key for say about two to three seconds I'm just clicking on all the keys one by one and I can see on the screen that it is recording it so it is and it is trying to understand the, the type of keys as you can see for some I'm noticing for some keys it is not recording so so it says it has it is it is configuring in the in the background we need two lines of dots so once that is done it should be okay so based on the input that we have provided the recording process has determined the signal strength the header the trail details and all those kind of information it has received now now the recording process has started it says please enter the name of the next button press enter to finish recording so there are a list of keys and uh, that is available here this is one of the ready-made config files as you can see it says key power so this is a code which Raspberry Pi understands what we need to do is so I've entered the name of the file and now I'll press the power button on my remote so I press the power button and it has it has mapped the key and saved it in the config file now we need to repo repeat this process for all the keys there are about 15 keys here we need to assign them like if you if you are the key name is uh, key power then obviously you're going to configure it map it to the power button here similarly there is stop play previous next these kind of things we have we can configure it to our liking the volume up and down the return key the ok enter button the mute button up down arrow keys everything we can configure here so let's do that for all the keys so I'm done configuring the remote and at the end I get a message that successfully written the config file and just before that as you can see we, uh, the system requires us to press the same key multiple times so that is the last uh, configuration process so once you do that the file will be successfully written and at this point we will reboot and go into the OSMC so UI. we are back into the OSMC UI and uh, in the previous step we have successfully created the LIRCD config file that is the config file for the remote so what we need to do is we need to just select that uh, the newly created file so we go to my OSMC and we go down to remotes and we can see in the bottom right hand side there's a browse button click on the browse button and go to home folder and here we can see the file which we was created in the previous step lircd conf select that so it is saying confirm changes so I'll select confirm so I'll exit out of here and we'll reboot the system and so after the reboot uh, I can see that the remote is working perfectly fine now uh, let's see let's try some of the functions like if I if I select volume I can see the volume goes up and down 
so I can check the pause function it pauses just fine play it plays back and if I do a mute volume gets muted so press mute again and now I'll just stop it and I'll press the menu button it goes directly to the menu back I can the all the arrow keys are working just fine so as you can see now it is very easy to use a Raspberry Pi no need of any mouse or keyboard we can do it with any remote thanks for watching